right, today I want to show you an experiment or a little demonstration that shows you how high and low pressure work. I have a, it's a soda can, a Coke Zero can here, and I put just a little bit of water in the bottom, and then I put it on uh, some heat. So what's going to happen is the water inside there is going to start to boil, and we all know when water boils, it turns to steam. Well, steam, one of the interesting things about steam is steam takes up more room than water does. So a little bit of water will turn into a lot of steam. Okay, so it's going to push all of the air out of that can. So that can is going to be completely filled with just steam. There will be no more air in that, in that can. I have a container of some ice water here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that can, I'm going to flip it upside down, and I'm going to immediately put it into this ice water and cool it down. So that steam is going to turn back into water. It's going to go from steam taking up this much space to steam taking up this much space. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to make low pressure inside of the can, and there'll be high pressure outside here. So that water in there, once that water starts boiling, I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it upside down into this container of ice water right here. Okay, so I had to move the, <clears throat> the can directly out of the flames. It was gonna boil faster this way. Normally in class, I would be doing this on a hot plate, but I have the water boiling in here. It's pushed all of that air out, so there's just steam in there right now. I'm gonna take this can, I'm gonna invert it and put it in this cold ice bath. Again, there'll be low pressure inside the can and high pressure outside the can. So let's see how this works. You can see this can completely collapsed. The high pressure outside of the can pulled it in and pushed it on that low pressure inside the can. It's the exact same thing that happens out in nature. When we have a low pressure area, a low pressure air, all of the air moves into it from the high pressure air. That's why we have wind. Same thing happens here. 